It's time to get working on this propane torch. This is going to be a two-part video. In the first part, we'll do the modeling, and in the second part, we'll do the texturing. So this image is available for download. Just follow the link in the description. And I've just brought it in here, and I'm going to actually rotate Y90 minus, and I'm going to S2, scale it up two times, and I'm going to bring this up in the Z. And I want to set it right around the bottom here. And you may have to adjust that. I also want to look from the side and I want to move it back in the Y out of the way. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start modeling this thing. I'm going to start with a cylinder. And I'm going to use 24 vertices. Go into edit mode and wireframe and scale it down to about there I'm going to come to the diagram and GX move it until we're a little bit more on the diagram hold down shift to move slower select this and we have that just pull it up so I've got the bottom there I'm going to box select here so I've got the whole row of vertices and I'm going to pull it up to the top here right there I'm going to press E and S and pull in and extrude up like that. That's going to go into this piece here. Okay, back into solid view. I'm going to select this edge. I'll look from the front again and I'm going to bevel. And I may not get this exact curve, but we'll get something. So I'm just going to pull down like this and then I'm going to roll my mouse up a few times, four times, it looks like I did there, something like that. So this is what we get. All right, uh, I'll take this and I'll press I to inset and I'll extrude down a little bit and I'll just get rid of that. We're never going to see in there anyhow, but I'll have that. And if we really wanted to, we could bevel, we could bevel this. Just going to add more polys just with three, but we'll do that in case we ever did take the top off. Okay, we still need to bevel the bottom a little bit, so we'll select the bottom. Number three for face selection and control B and just do something like that. And we can shade smooth, and there's our actual propane cylinder. Okay, cool. So now let's do this section. So I'm gonna come in here, when we grab one of these circles. Uh, actually, just before I do, I'm gonna put an edge loop uh, in there. In fact, I'll grab that edge loop and copy that as my circle. Look from the front, P, and separate by selection, break that out so we have that piece there. I'm going to press S to scale and get it to about that size and pull it down. Now there's really a tube that comes off this into the liquid. I'm not going to do that because you'll never see it. So we'll just go ahead with this. So back in a wireframe, E to extrude, come up to here. E and S, pull it in. E and up to there. E and S out to there. E and up. To there and this piece we will do yeah E and S come in E and up to here and I'll go back into solid view and we'll we'll close that off a little bit E and S come in like this and then E and we'll come down again that's a little extra stuff so we're doing this as a separate piece now we need to do something with this I think we're just going to bring that in like that so it covers and then the tube would go down. All right, let's start beveling this. Let's grab those edges and I suppose we could grab those edges at the same time. And control B, pull, I just need three in there. I guess I will bevel this stuff here. Control B as well. We're gonna need to bevel here. And that's gonna help with the shading. And we're gonna do the same here and here, control B. And that should be good enough, I think. Unless you want to do any more, I would be okay with that. Let's just select everything though, and uh, Alt N, recalculate outside, make sure polys are facing the right way. Okay, let's work on this bolt here and this, and then we'll go up and do the final piece right there. All right, so Control 3, I think is that side. I'm going to select that edge. And we'll look from the front and see, okay, I'm on the wrong side. So uh, let's see, that's control three, okay. That's uh, control three. 
I'll select this edge here, Shift S, cursor to selected, and look from the front. Okay, my 3D cursor is in the right place now. So I'm going to bring in a circle. I'm going to make it six vertices to make the hexagonal bolt. Scale it down, rotate Y90, scale it a bit, and just get it something like that. Extrude it back in. I'm not going to need a back face on that. Uh, I will need a face here though, so close that up. Select the whole thing and press 2 for edge selection and then Control B, pull, and we have three segments in there. Shade smooth. I'll worry about uh, shading errors uh, later on. Let me see that. Yeah, that's good. And then this, this uh, knob is going to have these pieces, so that's all I need for that part there. All right, so let's let's do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a circle from one of these here. So Shift D to duplicate that. Rotate Y90. G to bring it up and break it out. P to break it out. So we have that. And we'll scale it down. So I'm going to place it right about the or right about here. All right, and then I'm going to look from the side. I guess it's Control Three with all of those vertices selected and I'm going to come up to check or deselect and now I have every other vertice vertex selected I'm going to press S and scale it in just a little bit like that with those selected I'm going to shift control B pull and I only want two vertices in there so I'm going to roll back one and I just want a little gap like that then I'm going to come around and select all the outside vertices and do the same thing Shift Control B, pull a little bit like this, something like that. E and S pull in, and then we'll convert that to a circle using loop tools. So, loop tools circle, like that. I'm going to look from the side again and scale it down until I feel like I've got about that size. E and come out. All right. Then I'll E and S come in a bit and F to fill that up. All right, let's go back and shift alt and click that edge. And I'm going to extrude out. Now, is that wide enough? Hmm. I might scale it out a bit more like that. E and come back. That's going to be fine like that. Okay. And then I'll go to wireframe. E and S come in a little bit. I'm actually going to turn it and come in a little bit. And then I'm going to use loop tools, convert that to a circle again. And you can't see what I'm about to do next. Well, you'll see it by watching it, but you can't see it in the diagram. I'm going to extrude in. And then E and S are going to start coming back out. And that's when I'm going to start looking at my diagram again to get the diameter of this thing here. So I'm just going to scale down E and come straight out. All right. That's a little bit big, so I'm going to control plus. And I'm going to scale shift X, not in the X, and do this. That's fine come back into solid view so I can see what I've got here shift alt and click that and we're ready to finish this up E and S pull it in I'm better off actually in one uh, let's go back one pull it in mm, I'm a little off all right, well, we'll have a look at that. I don't think that's going to be a big problem, though. I think it's just the way it is. I'm going to move this whole thing up a little bit more. Yeah, something like that. Okay, it's time to bevel this now. Shift Alt to click there. Control B to bevel. Ah, if it does that, select it. Alt N, recalculate outside. And it wouldn't hurt once in a while to do merge by distance just in case. Control B, pull. I need three in there. I'm going to bevel these two. And we're just going to have three in there. And we're also going to bevel this one here. Control B. And this one. Control B. And I'm going to need one in here as well. Or else I'll have shading problems. I'll do that. And I'm going to need one down here. Now it's a lot of vertices for this. You may not have needed that many, but I wanted it to be relatively smooth. All right, and um, I, I didn't want to put one there, and I will. 
and we'll have that and it'll be a little bit smoother and the only other thing would be this one here right so that looks okay like that i think let's take it and i think i already did that do it again so does that look on the diagram that looks pretty good all right so now it's time to do the the nozzle or whatever you call that part let's put on the cavity shader just so we can enjoy this a bit more and let's put on this there we go that looks nice okay and any of this banding pattern is because of what i've just done okay so don't worry about it okay so to do this part we're going to select a circle going around and bring the 3d cursor there shift s cursor to select it and the way i'm going to do this is using a plane come in here one for vertex merge at center so i have just the one point i'll bring it down a little bit into into here and then i'm going to press e to extrude and i'm going to come up to about the middle of the joint where it curves and then e and bring it out like this take this point and let's round it shift control b and i'm going to put there's three four five vertices just like that right click and convert that to a curve and in the curve dialog box under geometry and bevel depth hold down shift as you click and pull to the right to get it the approximate size we just don't want it larger than this we want it to look like it comes out of there and that's probably okay like that it's not going to look exactly like the diagram but close once you're happy with that we're going to convert that to a mesh so scroll up i'm going to choose just four I could go for six six might be nicer but let's convert to mesh and then come in here in wireframe and we're going to slide some edge loops up so control r i'm going to have an edge loop right here and an edge loop right here i'm going to bring another edge loop over here and i'm going to shift alt and click here e and alt s and i'm going to pull down to roughly match that diameter now i'm going to shift alt and click here e and alt s and i'm going to push out just a little bit okay another edge loop here pull it to here and then control b and pull and just have two like that space e and alt s and pull okay we're going to fix those up with edge loops in just a minute uh let's finish this off let's press f to make a face and then i to inset pull it in a little bit remember it's a piece of metal it's not too thick do something like that and then i'm going to switch to normal e and i can use the, this to push it down hopefully it doesn't poke out through here okay and i'm going to actually just delete that you're never going to look into there all right now we'll put some edge loops on here so shift alt and click this edge and this edge and i'll go back to global give it a little bit of a bevel control b pull and i want three there this one and i want three there these two control b with three like that and we probably will need an edge loop here coming up that way and one going down that way let's try shade smooth see how she's looking all right we need a little bit more we need an edge loop up here and i think we have ah, we need edge loops up here okay so it's a little jaggedy looking we can put a control uh, one on that we can put a subdivision surface if we want um otherwise you know depending on how close you're going to get to it if you do you select it control one it is nice and smooth i may leave it like that for the moment but we may see when we uv unwrap it all right so let's hide this let's select this let's take that off for the moment or hide it at least select the whole thing and let's just see what the statistics are so almost six thousand if i put that on you know it jumps up another uh, two or three thousand and really i don't think you would need that but you're welcome to to, to have that if you want to okay i just want to have a look i'm gonna hide that i want to have a look at this yeah that's okay all right so 
to set up for texture and i think we'll do that in the next video mind you but um this this thing here let's let's call this um propane uh, body that's going to have a different material and let's call this propane knob and this is all going to be the part of the nozzle so let's call that propane i don't know if that's the correct term for it let's call it propane nozzle this and this will both have that so i'll select those and then this one last and control l link materials so these all have propane nozzle although i'm keeping them as separate pieces i don't need that anymore and i don't need this on there either all right so i've got that as a separate piece whether i use the subdivision or not the, the handle or the knob is a separate piece that and that and that's just going to help me for unwrapping and applying materials okay so we'll save the scene and when we come back we will do the texturing of this thing now i'm going to do it in substance painter but i mean it's ready for you to do it uh, in blender if you want to do that okay so thanks very much for watching hope you'll join me for the texturing of this cool little propane torch take care